If you've made plans for an event on this day, 161 years from now, you might want to rethink. NASA's predicting a giant asteroid named Bennu could potentially collide with Earth on September 24, 2182. The chances, they say, are low. Zero, zero I should say, 0.07% or something very close to that. But it's not just zero, zero which they prefer. In 2016, NASA sent the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to take images and collect samples of Bennu. That helped scientists narrow the projected path. And now the OSIRIS-REx is on its way back home to give us the samples. Professor Dante Loretta is with us, astrobiologist and principal investigator on the OSIRIS-REx mission. Professor, thank you. What, what is NASA going to be able to learn from these samples when they get back? That's a great question. We're really excited to get this material from the surface of asteroid Bennu back to the Earth. It's going to help us understand the formation of our planet, possibly why the life originated here, and it'll allow us to better understand whether it's going to impact our planet in the future. So something on the asteroid will tell you whether it might be heading for us. Yeah, it's a fascinating phenomena, but depending on how the asteroid heats up and then re-emits its energy back into space, actually thrusts the asteroid through the solar system and can change where it's going to be in the future. Huh. So what, what are the next steps here? Uh, well, we call September 24th Asteroid Bennu Day. So <laughs> two years from now, those samples will be landing on the surface of the Earth at the Utah Test and Training Range, just to southwest of Salt Lake City. We'll be recovering that using the help of the United States military and transporting it to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. We'll be on site looking at that scientific treasure and then getting it into our laboratories. Is there going to be a time where we can send stuff out into the universe to look at things, I don't know, beyond our planetary structures to see what might be, you know? Heading this way. Absolutely. We do that now with space telescopes, and NASA's getting ready to launch the James Webb Space Telescope, which is going to peer back to the dawn of the universe. So mm -hmm. we can do it optically, and we are thinking about ways to leave the solar system to probe nearby planets. Fascinating stuff. I plan to call out sick that day in 161 years. Dante, it's nice of you. Thank you.